A study of black bears in the Adirondacks reveals that their population can be represented by the function p of t equal to 3500 times 1.025 to the t, where t is the number of years since the study began. Which function is correctly rewritten to reveal the monthly growth rate of the black bear population? So let's write down the equation here. So I have 3,500, 1.025 to the t. So this 3,500 is the initial value. This base here uh, reveals what the uh, annual uh, growth, rate of growth is, because remember, this follows the template of uh, writing the exponential function in this form, right? So my r, in this case, is equal to uh, 0 0.025 per year. But we don't want per year. What the question is asking for is to transform this uh, equation so that we can, uh, so that it will reveal the monthly rate of growth. So how are we going to do that? So T right now, right in the original in the original here, T is measured in years. So I'm going to do a little trick. And the trick is, uh, I recognize the following, that in a year, there are 12 months, right? So 12 months. This doesn't change anything, right? Because 12 over 12 uh, times t is still t. Okay. By doing this, what I'm... Uh, what I can do is I can apply the the power rule, and I'm going to use a different color now, is what will happen is this will become 3,500 uh, times 1.025 to the 1 12th to the 12t. And what this does, because I'm raising 1.025, Five to the one twelfth, this will then give me the monthly rate because um, that original value was to the what was the um, the monthly not monthly was the rate of growth per year. So by raising it to the one twelfth now, I can then see what the monthly rate of growth will be. So I take one point oh two five and raise it to one twelfth. So let's take a look. So 1.025 to the 1 12th. And that would be 1.00206. So this would be 1.00206 to the 12 T. So keep in mind right now, this T is still in years. This is saying if I put in if I put one in, there are twelve months. So therefore, um, I'm taking this value and raising it by twelve. So essentially, we're doing the same thing. It's just um, it's just this equation has been rewritten or re-expressed so that we can then see what the monthly rate of growth is. So looking at this, uh, this is our equation for how the black bears are changing from month to month. And which answer best matches this? That would be option one.